taken seriously by serious critics, which has landed the poor little asshole in here. Miserati Novoso, I've died by the shelter I have. And there's Bradley. He's been writing the one book for 35 years. <laughs> An epic! And now he's gone nuts over it. And Francie. She's written 187 true romances. The love of and heart. The well-known publisher of romantic crap. But really, just needs to be laid. <laughs> so, we're sort of a literary group. And as soon as I heard your nice diction and way of speaking, I thought, there's that guy who's a group like us. Sensitive, literary people. Is that your group over there? The two men and the woman behind the bush? Yeah, big bush. Yes, that's it. But they won't join us yet, why? They know I'm still doing groundwork. So why do they lock you in at night? Why do they lock you in at night? They lock me in to prove there is no favoritism in the institution. But I still have my privileges. <laughs> there is my muscle building equipment, for example. And you may have noticed they have padded my room for me. I like to work out and can get a bit strenuous at times. Is it healthy, buddy? Is that healthy mind, I always say. But that, at the moment, is not the most important consideration. The first most important question is, who the fuck are you really? Fuck, and have you done something, something so dreadful? It has caused you to lose your memory. So, when it does come back, we need to make sure it is not too much for you. The others said that too. Ah, the others. I must tell you about them. Why not? There are others here, inmates and loonies, who masquerade as doctors. A harmless deception, you may think. After all, everyone needs to be somewhere in life. If you can't be yourself, because yourself is too difficult. So if you can't be yourself, which some of the luckier ones of us can, then you might as well pick an identity that gives you maximum job satisfaction and prestige. In a place like this, what else but a psychiatrist? These days, that's what they'll tell you they are. And they might even have nice white coats on these movies, and speak nice, and have nice clean fingernails. But, don't be taken in by that. No way. It's a little enough price to paint a piece around here, hand out some nice clean white coats every day, some stethoscopes, prescription pads, and shiny pens, and let them scribble away at their notes. But really, you wouldn't believe the damage they do to my work here. I'll be on my guard against them. You bet your sweet life you will. And after your first go with the headphones, you sure as hell will. But don't take too much notice of what the others may say about me. Not even Sheldrake and Rafferty and Francie. They'll be rejoining the main group soon. They're pretty well advanced in their treatment. I've been shielding them from those other loonies. And they're almost sane now. But they'll be worried about getting involved with someone like you. <laughs> after all, you could be murdering rapists for all we know. <laughs> but they'll come across soon. You'll see. It's those other white coated idiots you need to watch out for. Just keep yourself to yourself when you're with them. Any pills they may give you, keep them under your tongue and stick them out later. I will. <laughs> what made you say murdering rapists? Oh, Christ, no. That brings a bell with you, doesn't it? Oh, Christ, no. For Christ's sake, don't tell the others. And whatever you do, don't tell those other white-coated idiots. Oh boy, why do we go out here shopping? From what we hear, murdering rapists. No, I don't think I'm a murdering rapist. <laughs> you are. I, I, hope, I hope you're not another fucking writer. Uh, yeah. Dr. Soap tells me you're a writer. Yeah, right. Yeah. 30 books, uh, 8 million copies, 70, 70, 70 men. <laughs> Maybe you've read some of his yeah. books. <laughs> Sorry. I wouldn't remember it if I had. <laughs> Probably wouldn't remember anyway. All instantly forget it. Yeah. 
like a popular fiction, popular fiction, that's all. Oh, of course, of course, yeah. That's why you're in here, because they're all so forgettable. The sort of books reviewers love to review for a laugh. Here we go again, folks, another horny effort from the horny pen of Bernard Sheldrake. Lots of horny people doing lots of horny things to each other. In between a plot so facile and just plain stupid, you'd have to be a moron to understand it. I think that's how that last review went. <laughs> 13 books, 80 million copies in 17 languages with reviews like that. <laughs> what does that tell you about the state of publishing? And the world! What he has to face is his work is lowest common denominator crap. He's got to be made to face it! I'm afraid he's right, children. Only when you face up to it can your rehabilitation be. Yeah, 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 but, but all those people, you know, but I, all those people. Hey, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! All those people! All those people, you know, yeah, they, they, they can't be wrong. Can't be wrong. If you say so. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, we'll all be like rancid. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Year after year of angstful uh, self assessment. Oh boy, you know, uh, a thousand page uh, torment uh, that you can't get a publisher for. There's no one in their right mind who want to read a thousand pages of obsessive, self preoccupied, turgid, meandering, mental meditator of a horror shot like Rafferty. Oh boy, you know, I fucking quite my fucking quite my self absorption. You know, I I'm sick to death of people writing books to make their fucking feelings. No, uh, who fucking gives a shit? Who fucking gives a shit? Yeah. Attention seeker. He's, he's willing, willing to expose everything about himself just for the littlest bit of attention. Pretentious navel gazing. Oh yeah, every night. Navel gazing. Oh yeah, we need him. Yeah. And what? What about? Just ask him. Ask him what he's done to support his disgusting literary habits for the last 35 years. Just ask him that. What? Ask him. Ask him. What? Ask him. Okay. So I've written a bit of ad copy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I've written a bit of ad copy. Oh boy. You were the best in the business. And what, what about what about um, your uh, other things? You know what? Uh, what about your uh, political writing? Don't you forget your political writing, you uh, self-righteous pompous little asshole. You know, this guy, this guy, this asshole, wrote makes political speeches for both political parties at the same time. Imagine that! That's why, that's why we're all 